Hey everybody, welcome to another video and this is going to be a short video review of this little thing, the C-Sense phone holder. Before I start, I should say in the interest of full disclosure, I didn't buy this for myself, it was sent to me by C-Sense as a thank you for the review I did on the ACE uh, front and rear lights and referring some people through the referral code. Um, they got in contact and said they've had some sales, would I like one of these for free? Who doesn't like a freebie? Um, so, what is it? It's a phone holder. It's a phone holder, it's a phone pouch, uh, whichever you want to call it. Uh, and it's designed for you to put your money, credit cards in. They can go in there, phone in, all that sort of stuff. Anything valuable you want to take, take away with you, all goes in there. And stick in your jersey pocket, it's job done. Keep, keeps everything safe. So let's have a little quick look at what's inside in a bit more detail. So let's have a quick look inside the case and see what it's made of. As you'll see, uh, once it's undone, unzipped, you've got one big pocket with a, a small padded divider in between. So that keeps uh, any valuables you've got in there sort of separated up a little bit. On the back, there is a full, a full length zipped pocket uh, which you can put stuff in there that will stop it all rattling around a little bit and just tucked on the inside there on the other side of the divider is a small uh, pocket which you can fit a credit card something like that in so when I'm out and about with mine I tend to put in the little um, little pocket here a little bit of cash stick a £20 note in even though when you might need a bit of a cash when you're out on the ride and as it's credit card size, I'm able to put in there my Cycling UK membership card, my British Cycling membership card, and a debit card. They all go in there nicely. There we go. They're all in. I'm going to fit my phone in one side. Uh, this will fit a phone probably around about six and a half inches, which is quite a decent sized phone, so you should be okay with that. And then just in the little zip up pocket just to keep it safe I put my garage key so I can get my bike in and out of the garage when I get home or when I leave uh, and that's always to it there's there's a fair bit of room in there you're able to um, even with the phone in there I can still get something this side if I want some you know I could probably get a second phone in if I wanted to um, so there's and there's some, there's some room in that pocket the whole thing's slightly padded so that'll give should it take a drop you'll probably end up uh, giving getting a little bit more protection than you would have done uh, one nice little feature is the enclosed zip so you can see the zip here is enclosed that will make it uh, it's certainly splash resistant it's not unfortunately there's a little hole you'll see there uh, that does let water in so we did a little bit of a test put it in the uh, in the bath with some paper in in the bath the paper paper got wet um, where the water had got in I don't know whether that was purely from that hole or from the zip or the material itself but in the shower it was it was fine it kept the paper nice and dry so it's certainly shower proof fully waterproof not it's not but then it doesn't uh, build itself to be fully waterproof it, it only builds itself to be shower proof which probably if you're out riding your bike is probably all you're, all you're going to need all in all I think uh, I think it's 15 pounds on their website although it's currently it's currently sold out yeah um, it's probably pretty good value for money to be fair okay so you've seen in a little more detail there what you can actually get in the pouch um, you can get a phone in I think around about six and a half inch screen size mine's a one plus 6t which is about 6.5 6.6 inches across the corners that fits in nice and snugly uh, as I showed you in the um, in the close-up view the thing is fairly waterproof um, you shouldn't have any trouble when you're out on the bike in it uh, currently it's unfortunately out of stock on the C-Sense website um, I guess they're selling out a lot of stuff at the moment everybody seems to be getting into cycling because of the COVID-19 lockdown and they're selling out lots of things I believe the purchase price was £15 which for a pouch like this is relatively cheap I've seen them from other brands um, and maybe there you're paying some something for the brand name I suppose but some of them I've seen at 40 45 50 pounds even for something that looks 
uh, much the same. So I think it's pretty re pretty reasonable value for money. Um, yeah, you can get you can get it cheaper. You can go to Amazon and you can get one for about five or six quid if you want. But I don't think you will get one that's as good as this. I've been using it now for about a month, I suppose. Um, the stitching's all held up. It's all been pretty good. I've done two off-road rides with it. It's not bounced out my pocket. Um, it stayed where it's supposed to stay. Um, and I think if it did bounce out, I'd have enough padding to protect what was in, whatever was in there anyway, unless it was a real big bounce. So all in all, I think at 15, 15 pounds or so, it's pretty good value for money. And when they're back in stock, head over and uh, I'd recommend you head over and get one really. There's a referrer code. There's always a referrer code. So if you were interested in getting one of these or any of the other things in the C-Sense range, uh, click on that referrer code in the description. That'll take you over to the C-Sense website and we'll get a little bit of credit for, um, for referring you. Until next time, we'll see you on the road. Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Why not check out some of our other stuff here on the side? And while you're there, click the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon to get notified of any more great content from us. Till next time, I'll see you on the road.